Investigators are now trying to figure out what started this fire and where it started. You can see behind me this building is really charred from top to bottom and it's collapsing on itself, making finding the cause even more difficult. A battle against raging flames and time at this three alarm fire inside of a vacant building. I mean, it was bad. It was, it was, there was a lot of smoke, a lot of, a lot of chaos around here. The flames erupting on Davis Avenue in Norwood at about 1130 on Wednesday night. Just a ball flame. It's just the, the whole building was involved. The former soap factory has been empty for about 15 years. The overnight blaze, the third in this area in about 90 days. We had a fire in this building back in April on a Sunday morning. Then we had a, uh, an outside fire that involved vehicles on the far side of this building. Uh, less than 10 days ago. State investigators bringing a dog that smells for accelerants like gasoline. The town arson investigator talking to people who work nearby. Trying to get down to what happened and, and you know, who could have done it. They will figure out the cause and where this fire started. However, this building has no utilities and is boarded up. The chief saying unofficially, the fire seems suspicious. Vacant building, unoccupied for 10 or 15 years, no electricity in the building, of course it does. There were concerns this fire could spread the former soap factory sitting between two buildings with several businesses. They suffered broken windows and other damage from heat, but nothing major and no injuries. Very relieved, very relieved that, again, nobody got hurt and it didn't spread to our building. Right now, investigators are trying to figure out if anyone owns this building and if there is an owner, where they can find them. The cause of this fire is still under investigation. Here in Norwood, Frank Holland, WCVB, New Center 5.